So GPU retailers and sellers are absolutely panicking right now at unsold inventory and a massive amount of returned GPUs, open box products. The discounts are starting to get even more impressive. Should you buy one of these GPUs? You didn't think an RTX 4070 was worth $599? Well, Best Buy doesn't think so either because they have this open box gigabyte for like $475. Now that's a price that a lot of people I think would be willing to pay for a 4070. It seems like people have been returning GPUs. Maybe they regret it buying them. You're going to find everything from like last generation GPUs all the way up to like the newest stuff like the RTX 4090. Take a look at some of these deals that you can get. Now this is going to be Best Buy, which is available to many more people around the country. When they have an open box deal, however, it's not every single Best Buy that will have it. You have to be with in a certain vicinity just so you know and you can keep tabs on exactly what's going on. Look at this 4090. Used to be MSRP of $1,699. They have an open box for $1,359. That's a considerable way from what it used to cost. That's a pretty big price savings. The 4090 is still one of those GPUs that you can make an argument for that there's nothing better. It's not really handicapped in any way like even the 4080 or some of the other GPUs may be. So it's going to give you 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Very fast. Absolute overkill for most scenarios you're probably going to need a much faster cpu as well but they're getting a lot cheaper before they weren't even in stock you have to almost pay a scalper to be able to get one but the last several months we've seen them in stock and now we're seeing a lot of open box deals which make them not a bad buy if it's something you're going to keep actually for a few years and of course there are other places that sell both new and used gpus as well that's why it makes a good segue into today's video sponsor today's video is brought to you by jawa.gg jawa is a terrific place where gamers can have a community where they can discuss buy sell and even plan the builds that they're doing something that's going to be very important in the current pc building climate that we are in now they have verified sellers if you'd like to put something together and have a build done for you or you can purchase your own parts you don't have to worry about scalpers here they have a nicely curated market and a lot of the sellers have really good pictures as well as selling information to make sure that you're getting exactly the product that you want they also offer a gpu buy program if you don't want to go through the hassle of selling to an individual where you can get a quote for your GPU so remember to check out Jawa use the link in the description below welcome 10 and you'll get a nice $10 discount off of your first order and now let's go back to the video if the 4090 is still overkill, what about a 4080? This was one of the GPUs that had one of the worst price to performance ratios. Remember, a 3080 was around 699 and Nvidia out of nowhere jacked that price up when they released the 12 gigabyte 3080 to 1299. And now we're kind of stuck with an 1199 4080, which is way too expensive. That's the price of the 3080 Ti. That's not a price of the 4080. So if you see an open box deal sometimes they can be pretty attractive i mean look take a look at this gigabyte it's all the way down to under one thousand dollars at around 975 dollars that's not that bad for a 4080 that's under even an xtx and it's going to be even closer to the price of like what the 4070 ti was and a lot of the third party ones are still priced at that so one of the benefits of buying an open box at least from a major retailer like this you still get a pretty good return policy so in case there's anything wrong with the gpu you can just return it and you don't really have that much risk so you're definitely going to be a little bit more covered there so as we can see everywhere gpu prices are going down even from that video sponsor it's actually very relevant to the video i looked up some gpus that would be a good buy like a 3070 under 400 dollars even a 6800 if you go around to other retailers that sell mainly new gpus such as newegg they don't have nearly as many open box deals as I saw in other places but if you toggle the open box option when you're searching Newegg you can definitely find some pretty good deals for example when I searched for an RTX 4080 I found a bunch of Asus 4080s some were as low as 1059 like the Asus Tough they even have the Strix which used to be ridiculously expensive 1549 almost the price of a 4090 that's a 4080 now some open box models are around $1200 which is still way too much for a 4080 
Audi 80, but at least it's the Asus Strix. But some of these other models are getting very close to that $1,000 mark. I think many people feel that $999 should perhaps be the price of the RTX 4080, and a lot of this open box pricing kind of shows that that's probably true. A lot of them don't even sell at $1,100 or like $1,050, but if they're under $1,000, I think the 4080 is likely a decent buy for that price. It does have 16 gigabytes of VRAM, so you don't have the same limitations that you will run to with the other GPUs. Newegg also has some open box 4090s. They're still a little bit high. They're like $1,499. Nothing like we saw at Best Buy that was like $1,300 something, $1,200. So that's still a little bit high, even though these are some of the more premium models. Like there's an Asus Strix for $1,699. Seems expensive, but that GPU was $1,999. So that's still $300 off. Basically one of the best GPUs that you can buy. At least the discount is better than scalper pricing that we had for the last several years. But unless you really need a 4090, you may want to check out cheaper GPUs because these are still a little bit too expensive. Going back to Best Buy, they even have some RTX 4070 Ti's open box. It's going to be a gigabyte once again. This one is actually $679. I actually bought a 4070 Ti when they came out in order to do testing open box from Best Buy. So this, I think it was this exact same GPU for that exact same price. At the time, I thought it was a pretty good deal because look, that GPU was $899 originally, and it's even on sale, if you can call it that, for $849, which is still way too much. But the open box price at $679 for a 4070 Ti, that's not that bad. That's only 70 bucks more than a new 4070. And at least with the 4070 Ti, you are getting on average 20 to 25% better performance on certain games. That's a lot better price. I would rather see that maybe like $600, to be honest, than the 4070 under 500. But realistically, this is some of the best pricing you'll find on a 4070 Ti. I also saw some other 4070s that weren't discounted as heavily as that 475 one, but this one was still in the mid 500 range, so it's still cheaper. I mean, 535 isn't terrible for a 4070, but as we saw when Micro Center gave people $100 for you know a Steam gift card if you bought a 4070, that was still barely enough, bringing the price down to 499 if you count the Steam gift card as you know a discount. Some people don't, some people do. It depends if you want to get a game or not. So even $499 is a little bit high, but we can agree $475 is a pretty good price for a decent $47. How about AMD GPUs? Well, AMD themselves started to discount pretty much all of their lineup, like um, you know the RX 6000 GPUs, like the 6950 XT, you'll start to easily find for like $650 or less, even the 6800 XT, like $550. Bucks. These are all going to be highly competitive with the RTX 4070 for that price. Of course, you're going to get more power usage. The 4070 is more efficient, and you're missing out on some ray tracing performance and DLSS 3 if that's something that the games you play have in general. They even started to reduce the price on the 7900 XT, which at $899, of course, is a little bit too ridiculous. But if you still don't want to spend like $799 on that GPU, which is the price that a lot of retailers have it for, you can sometimes find open box AMD GPUs that are a little bit more attractive. Like for example, here we have an XTX. That's going to be the faster one. Once again, a gigabyte GPU. I guess Best Buy gets a lot of these gigabyte GPUs. This one's an open box for $839. That's not bad for an XTX. I mean, that's the price that the XTs were going for, you know, the third party AIBs. So for 839, you have a GPU that can often beat the 4080 across many different titles. That's a pretty good price, I think. It's going to be hard to find something better than that for a super high end GPU. That's like almost half the price of a lot of the MSRP 4090s, and you're still getting great performance with this XTX. Of course, if we head over to Micro Center, we're also going to find more GPUs that are discounted because they're open box. There's another AMD 7900 XT. This time it's $701.96. That's not too bad. I mean, look, the MSRP is already down to $779, which is below the MSRP of when it came out. $700 for a 7900 XT, that's getting a lot closer. You're going to get better performance and a lot more VRAM than a 4070 for like 100 bucks more. So that's not really all that terrible of a deal. I mean, if we look above it, most of the 40 80s, even open box, they're still around $1,000 or more, which is really going to push people's budgets. If you want to go the other way, however, they even have some stuff like a 6800 XT, this open box, $494. Now that must 
be one of the best sort of, you know, performance deals you can get right now. Under $500 for a 6800 XT, you'll definitely beat the 4070 across many titles. This was a GPU that competed well with the RTX 3080, and it still has 16 gigabytes of VRAM for under 500 bucks. That's a pretty good bet in today's, you know, GPU market. I mean, look, the 4060 Ti is going to come out with 8 gigabytes of VRAM, and it may be not far from that price, anywhere from 399 to 499 and it's probably not going to perform anywhere near as a 6800 XT, because not even the 4070 does in general. And then, of course, there are other GPUs you may definitely want to avoid if they're priced too high. While it is possible to still find RTX 3000 GPUs, you got to be careful, because some of the pricing, like look at this, for example, an open box Asus GPU, this is only a 3060, and the open box is going for $416. This should be at like $300 or under to even make any sense. $416 is way too expensive. You're better off going and finding a, a used one like on Java.gg that I mentioned before, because you can find 3070s there for under $400, and that's going to perform a lot better than an RTX 3060, and you're paying less money. Some other GPUs to watch out for, the RTX 3070 Ti, they still have a lot of inventory. Look at that MSRP. It used to be $649, and they're still selling it new for $500. $179.99. That's like almost the price of a new 4070, which they have abundantly in stock. So you definitely want to avoid those. Even the open box at $492, I don't really think is a good deal at all because the 6800 XT open box was around that price that's literally right next to it. And I think that GPU is going to perform a lot better than a 3070 Ti, and it's going to give you twice the amount of VRAM. So a 3070 Ti, in my opinion, should be closer to like $400 dollars to make any sense at this point. So these are some of the GPUs that you can find. And I've looked at various retailers from local micro centers to Best Buy that are more widespread around the country. And of course, Newegg, which also ships around the country more. You may have luck as well, or maybe not as much luck looking at your local retailers. I know in Europe and different places, return policies are going to be different. You may not find necessarily the same deals, but it's definitely interesting that pricing is starting to go down and you're not going to see it on the retail level first on new prices, but you do see it with some discounts. The first thing you're going to see are open box and how much they're discounting them. Taking three or four hundred dollars off of 4090 shows you that they really need to sell these GPUs and they know that if they put them higher, they're just going to sit on the shelves. Let me know if you find any deals below. Let me know what you think of these prices. Of course, these aren't all recommendations. Some of them are decent buys. Some of them you can continue to wait for prices to go down further, but some some of them do look a little bit better than we've seen in the past. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.